What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Today I just want to click this hungry button, click this Tesla full self-driving button I've installed and go for a drive and kind of talk about what's going on with beta because we haven't had an update in a while. There is some things happening behind the scenes though with beta, which is in interesting. You're really going to try this U-turn? That's... Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, so the car's still completely in control here. Um, kind of talk about what's going on behind the scenes a little bit, uh, when we can expect an update and, and all this kind of stuff. So, man, there's I don't know, there's been kind of a lot. So first of all, yeah, you're gonna go all the way around. That kind of makes more sense for what I would expect the car to do. Uh, it just keeps changing its mind here. So let's, let's talk. Uh, we have Andre Karpathy has, has left Tesla. He was the director of AI at Tesla. And, you know, a lot of people took this as kind of devastating news. It is sad because, from my understanding, he is <clears throat> one of the best in the industry in terms of what he does, and that's uh, AI and AI coding and all of these things. So, uh, you know, it's, it's no good for Tesla, but at the same time, he was there for five years. That's a, a long time for these types of positions. So the car stops and yields for this pedestrian. Very nice. Um, very nicely handled there. And there's a whole team of, I think Elon said 120 people who are working on this. It's not like one person is responsible for full self-driving and you can expect people to come and go as, as time goes on. So it's sad that he's gone, um, but I'm sure he will move on to other great things that he wants to do. And I think that the progress of full self-driving will continue um, as we've seen it and hopefully increase and become faster. Now, it is kind of worth noting, he's been gone for several months already. He was on a sabbatical and back at that time, a lot of people, because we've seen it happen before at Tesla and other places, kind of thought like, oh, that might be the end. You never know until the news is official. But yeah, so he has <clears throat> moved on, which I think is worth noting. So uh, some other things. Now, if you've never seen Chuck Cook's videos, um, oh, actually, I, I forgot to mention, um, the, the people that make these, these buttons here, which I use like daily, <laughs> I love these things, um, they're going to be at the big Tesla event in California, the big meetup. If you're going to go, you should go say hi to them. They wanted me to let you know that they're going to be out there and kind of showing off the product and talking with people. So, uh, so I also want to talk about Chuck Cook. If you haven't seen him, he has a YouTube channel. He's been a, a beta tester since the beginning, and he has this really difficult left turn he does which I won't describe in too much detail, you can go watch it, but basically he cuts across three lanes of traffic going one direction, there's a middle median area he has to enter through, uh, and then he, the car has to turn left with three more lanes of traffic, he only has to enter the first lane really, and they're going the opposite direction. And these cars are going, you know, 50, 60 miles an hour really fast. It's a very difficult turn. And he has been documenting this exact same turn, again, pretty much since beta has, has come out, since the beginning. And oh, are you going on the highway? I don't want to go on the, oh no, it's right there. Okay, we'll find another destination after this. So he has been documenting this left turn and sometimes the car can do it. Oftentimes it cannot. The cross traffic is just too fast. The car creeps out too much. So Elon basically called him out on Twitter and is like, yeah, we're going to fix, you know, Chuck's left turn. Um, Chuck Cook style left turns and we're going to make this work. And so Chuck has been spotting actual Tesla testers, like people from the company at that left turn using the latest version, uh, you know, we assume, of course, of the full self-driving um, and trying to get it to work. And Tesla is basically not, it seems, going to release this until it's fully working. And the left turn is really difficult. Um, so we'll continue after this red light. Let me skip it. All right, so we got the green and we're going through here. So yeah, the left turn has been very difficult. I imagine Tesla's having some trouble getting it to complete. And wow, good luck getting over for this. You can't stop in the middle of the road. <laughs> okay, I gotta hit the accelerator here because um, the car just wants to stop in the middle of the road and it can't do that. Um, and again, all right, I'm just gonna take over here because it's gonna try to get in front of these people and just doesn't have time. Uh, we'll let it turn around or something. So it seems that they're trying to get this to work before they, they send it out. And I mean, it's even prompted discussion of like, wow, look at this turnaround, of needing um, different uh, cameras and the headlights and all kinds of stuff. So it seems, again, it's just an assumption, but it seems we're waiting for that to be working because, you know, I, if Tesla, so their idea is that the testers, which now there's over 100,000 people using beta, if, if Tesla can, the idea is that the testers drive around data gets sent back and then Tesla can kind of make the system work with all that feedback. Well, in this instance, obviously, at least from a single vehicle doing this left turn tons and tons of times, it's not enough data. So Tesla has felt they need to go to that location. They need to test it themselves and make it work. And if that doesn't get it to work consistently, or at least, you know, over 90% of the time, 
in my opinion, that's kind of a big deal because, you know, Tesla is at the scene. They're at the location with their car with advanced, you know, I'm sure they're collecting all kinds of data that they can't get just off of our cars. And then if from there, uh, they can't get it to work, it's like, okay, that's, you know, a little concerning. So I'm sure they really want to get that to work before they, they uh, send it out. So yeah, we'll keep going here. Um, maybe I'll just skip, maybe I'll, I'll go into downtown to make this a little more interesting of a drive because this area is going to be pretty good. But I will say the car so far is doing really good. We're still on 10.12.2 and uh, I am really enjoying it. I mean, it, like you see here, it does work pretty well for the most part, but at the same time, Elon is saying by the end of the year, it's going to be wide release and they're going to raise the price again because it's getting so good. And I'm kind of like, no, <laughs> I don't know. Like it is very good. But at the same time, it also makes mistakes like you just saw a couple of minutes ago where it just wants to stop in the road to make a lane change, which let's be honest, humans do that sometimes too, but it's just not appropriate. It's not something you should be doing. So yeah, let's let it finish up this little loop thing here that it wants to do. I've, I've not really done this. I don't know what it's trying to do here. Um, and then maybe we'll, we'll skip and move it into downtown for a little more interesting driving to challenge it because it, you know, it has been doing pretty well. So it is going pretty fast in this parking lot, but to be honest, at first I didn't notice. Now like around this bend, <laughs> that's really fast. Um, at first I didn't notice it actually felt pretty natural um, and nobody was around, so it was like whatever. Uh, but it handled that pretty well, unmarked roads. I'm still sometimes getting the bug where on an unmarked road, it'll tell me to take over immediately. I'm really, really hoping that it's fixed in the next version because when it doesn't do that, the unmarked roads behavior for me has been very good. And it'll just be this amazing driving on dirt roads and stuff. And I'm like, wow, this is great. And then out of nowhere, the car's like, oh, take over immediately. And okay, you just rolled that stop sign like a boss, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so like all this, these lane changes, this is all very good. It, it's very good stuff. All right, let me, um, let, wow, what a weird left turn lane. Okay, cool. Nice job, car. I'm, I've not used this uh, left turn lane before, I don't think. Let me get us into downtown. It's a long, boring drive there. Um, so I'll just skip ahead and uh, let's do a little driving down there just to see how the car's doing. Okay, so we're finally moving into downtown here. And you know, it's pretty funny because I had tweeted about Elon talking about raising the price again. And I was like, what, you know, what is he thinking? Even at 12,000, you know, I, it's, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, if the car was actually self-driving and you could, you know, play games on your phone or go to sleep or something, then yeah, I, there, <laughs> there's tons of value there, but uh, you know, or, or send it out as a robo taxi, but we're not there yet. And I still, this is just my opinion. I've been wrong plenty of times in the past. I still don't think we're going to be there for a while. And for him to be talking about raising the price again, now the car is getting better, but look at like right there. We already had some weird, like that was a not, I don't know, like one lane, other lane without turn signal. Um, ended up being okay, but there's just so many still weird, quirky things. Like, uh, you know, uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably kind of nerdy about this stuff and I'm nerdy about it. So I love it and I want to use it all the time and it is so much better than it used to be. But at the same time, I can't imagine like a normal quote unquote person is going to be using this if they're not like totally into the tech and want to see what it's doing. And even if it was free, I included in the car, it's just don't think it would get turned on all that often. And wow, like last minute lane change there. Um, there was space to do it and it felt pretty comfortable, but just, you know, I could see somebody who's not used to this stuff <clears throat> being kind of freaked out by it. So when I said that I had a lot of pushback from, from you guys kind of being like, no way, uh, full self driving is really good. Now I have tons of zero intervention drives where I just sit there and check in with the steering wheel and blah, blah, blah. And that's awesome. I mean, I'm really glad to hear it because that wouldn't have been possible several months ago. Um, and I, I too now will have zero intervention is very rare for me still, mostly because the random slowdowns, I just have no patience for that. So I'm always touching the accelerator whenever we get a slowdown that's unnecessary. Um, but zero disengagement drives are becoming, you know, uh, much more common where the, I don't have to take over. I can just do, you know, maybe a turn signal or, or a, a accelerator press or something like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, handling this this fine so far, just some weird goofy lane changes, which the uh, next update should, it, it says something about uh, choosing lanes, so that should be better. So there we go, we're gonna change lanes here. And you know, we had the one disengagement so far uh, on a, a fairly simple route, and it's it, that was simply due 
to the car picking the wrong lane, which is, I think, a lot of people's biggest complaint right now. Mine is still phantom braking. I get way too much of it on faster roads. But if the Tesla had chosen the right left turn lane, you know, in that scenario, it could have easily moved over a lane, made that turn into the parking lot. It would have been a perfect drive. I wouldn't have had to do anything. But, you know, those wrong lane selections and then, which then leads to the car doing even worse things, such as trying to stop in the middle of the road to correct itself. Um, you know, that's where you get kind of the big, the big issue. So left turn here should be pretty easy. And boom, we stop right in the middle of the intersection. I have to hit the accelerator. Like why? Maybe you saw something and you're like, oh, well, that's why the car stopped. I didn't see any reason to stop. So uh, a decently hard stop right in the middle of that left turn, which I don't know. It, it's beta. I get it. I'm, I'm fine with that. But, you know, when you're trying to talk about wider release and charging more, it's, uh, I don't know, doesn't sound good to me. Now, a decent amount of traffic here. And this is a left turn we've struggled with in the past. So we're moving up. The car's already being a little too hesitant. And it's moving to the right, which is going to block anyone that wants to pass us. And like, <laughs> it was too much. You could see that that car um, moved away from us because they thought we were going to turn into them. And so now I basically have to do this all myself because I didn't really have a chance to turn it back on there while I'm, I'm talking and filming a video, to be fair. But I'm also looking around at the, the cars around me. And so I have to just make sure the car's not going to do anything wrong. So when you see stuff like that, it's like, ugh. And... Uh, to be fair, in that exact scenario, the car would have stopped. I'm 99% sure. I can't know because I didn't let it go. But I'm 99% sure it wasn't going to plow into them. But it's the amount of movement it made towards that left turn while a car was there. It was just too much. So, I don't know. I really, really enjoy beta. I really love it. But I just, there's still, <laughs> there's still a lot that, that needs to be done. And I, I think it's going to be a long time before it's kind of at that point where you could just throw anybody into the car and and uh, let it go. See, like, look at this. So obviously to me and you, it's like, oh, I want to turn left there, but I can't. So the car is just, it, it doesn't like classify those signs. How can it not, you know, have those road close signs kind of programmed in there yet um, is beyond me. That's something I think that they would add. And that's the thing they're going to, I, I don't care. Like it's beta. I, I, again, I understand that. And when I point these things out, sometimes I get, you know, a lot of pushback where people are like, oh, it's beta, stop it. And I'm the first one to say that. I'm okay with it making mistakes. That's the point of me sitting here. Um, but again, I just, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to charge any more for it yet. I want people to be able to enjoy it and have fun and not, you know, be priced out of it. So you can see my, also my internet is still not perfect here. I tried to put another hungry location. It's not loading. It says unknown location there. I'm 99% sure at this point that that's a beta issue and not, um, not a like a hardware issue on my car i did talk to service and they said that my car seems fine uh, and other beta testers have the same issue so i'm hoping again in the update it'll fix that gps or uh, internet connection issue so now it can go and what's it going to do with so these cars are all in the way it looks so that guy's blue this truck should also be blue and we have a pedestrian crossing so the pedestrian's blue and we're just going to cut this truck off or <laughs> see, he's looking at me like, oh yeah, he's not happy. He's like angry. He's like, why is this guy trying to cut me off? What a jerk. <laughs> like in the grand scheme of things, who cares? Like I wasn't trying to cut him off. And even if I got in front of him, like it would have stopped him for one second <laughs> to, to move this couple of inches forward. Little brake slam there. We're hitting the brakes hard. I don't know why. I'm gonna assume it's because there's a cyclist next to us and I had to grab the wheel there because the car made a hard turn to the right with that cyclist back there. So again, I'm taking over. Yeah, this is not a good drive, not a good drive. So <laughs> I need my 10.13 update. That would fix every single mistake we see in this drive here. So I don't, I, <laughs> if you're having a, you know, 10 back-to-back -back zero intervention drives. That's either pretty amazing or you're going in a straight line for five, five miles because even that was a straight line and the car's you know, trying to move to the right. If I didn't have a hand there, who knows how far it would have turned that way um, towards that, that cyclist that was kind of back behind us there. All right, so we have an unprotected left here. Let's see how the car does. I'm glad there's enough room for people to pass us. Like this little creeping I'm okay with. Like the steering wheel should calm it down. Okay, so after this car, yeah, could could go or could wait. <laughs> That's the brake kind of pumping on and off. 
car's trying to decide what to do. Oh, just don't miss the light. I'm not going to let, let it miss the light. I'm going to go if it uh, turns yellow. So yeah, I'm just going to go through. So I pushed the accelerator and went right towards that curb. Oh my goodness. This is really bad. <laughs> the heck? I don't know. It's just so crazy because you'll have these... I will have really good drives, but then you'll see like exactly what you're seeing here where it just wants to screw up all over the place. And I wasn't looking at the display, so I don't know if it was showing that little curb that was right there, but my uh, left uh, wheel definitely would have went over it. And like not a catastrophe, I'm sure many people have, have driven over that as well. Um, so we're waiting. See these people, this guy doesn't know, he doesn't have a stop sign. <laughs> so he stopped there when he didn't need to, which confused him and me and the car. So now I'm pressing the accelerator. Oh my goodness, I can't even <laughs> finish complaining about the last thing. Um, so yeah, that guy didn't have a, a stop sign over there. He should have just kept going. My car was doing the right thing and then I touched the accelerator at one point and are we just gonna, we're just gonna skip this red light. Are you serious right now? Wait, hold on. Yeah, it just wants, oh my. <laughs> Report. I mean, I hit the brake so it, it's automatically reported, but yeah, you know what? I was wrong. Raise the price and, uh, okay. Now here's, here's the thing where I think some people may be getting confused. I actually think if you buy full self-driving, you should have access to this. You paid and you paid for full self-driving. You didn't pay for beta. I get that whole argument, but with safety score, I think pretty much anybody, uh, who pays out for full self-driving should be able to just enroll in safety score. Once they have the correct safety score for a hundred miles or whatever, just give them the beta because yeah. If you're paying attention like I am, none of these mistakes really matter all that much. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Can you make this right turn? You could do something on this drive <laughs> without me helping. There you go. We made the right turn and we'll stop right about here for our destination. So yeah, that's, that's going to be it for me. Uh, give me one second here. All right. So yeah, I don't know. I just kind of felt like ranting and talking a little bit there, but um, yeah, you can see <laughs> the state beta is in and I am really... Um, is this where we're supposed to go? I am really, really, really hopeful that Chuck's uh, left turn, that's kind of the biggest thing I want out of this update. His left turn works. Like, I'm not trying to be dramatic. It really should work greater than 90% of the time. It really should work if this is gonna be a self-driving level four or level five car, and they're putting this much effort into it. With this update or the next, it really should be working 99.99% you know, of the time, if not even more than that. Um, now the car, <laughs> I don't know what this is doing. It's a slightly confusing scenario, I suppose, well, for a robot. But um, yeah, so that was nice moving over for that person. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or just want to talk about all this stuff down in the comments, um, I will talk to you down there. And you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next video.